All right, what up? So if you're watching this video, you're probably getting out of high school right now and you're contemplating either going to college or going to the military. We're gonna talk about all that, but go ahead and leave a like and subscribe before we get into it. And yeah. All right, so the first thing I want you guys to know is yeah, college is kind of somewhat of a scam. You know, a lot of people on the internet say, you know, going to college isn't really worth it. They say all this stuff of like, oh, you know, like you don't even need to have a college degree today and all this, all these things about college. A lot of people dog on college, but I will say just being out in the adult world, you know, seeing even in the military, having a college degree does help you a lot. You know what I mean? Especially if you want to become an entrepreneur, but you don't really have any type of idea yet or you don't really know where to start. I don't think going to college is really a bad idea, especially if you can afford it and you have the means to get there. Um, for me, I joined the military, so this is coming at it from a military perspective. And I had the grades to go to college, but I just didn't really apply to any colleges, so I kind of ran out of time to go to college. So that's kind of what put me in a spot to join the military. But I will say if I could go back in time, I probably would have ended up going to college first before joining the military just because if you are wanting to do like a long time in the military, going to college will give you a chance to join as an officer. You would have a lot better life, you know what I mean? And that's kind of how it is, you know, going to college for a couple of years really sets you up as long as you're not, you know, going to college and just partying and not making good grades. If you're going in there and you're doing hard work and you're getting your degree, there's absolutely nothing wrong with college. Obviously, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make you, you know, as gritty and as, you know, tough as you would if you were in the military. It's not as hard work, you know. I, I I was watching vlogs of like college kids' lives, you know, the all weekend and it's just like, yeah, dude, like their life looks pretty easy. You know, they go to class at like 10 and then they get off and then they just go hang out with friends and maybe they work a part-time job to get some money. But I mean, that's about it, you know what I mean? And so, I don't know. I, I definitely feel like college is worthwhile if you can afford it. Uh, obviously, you know, I wouldn't say go put yourself $150,000 in debt if you can't go to college and you, if you don't have the grades for it, like, okay, not really, you know what I mean? But I mean, if you have nothing else to do and you don't really know what to do with your life and you can get your college paid for, just go to college, you know? Another thing I would like to say about college really is it's a lot more fun than the military. The military is a lot more work, you know what I mean? Sometimes in the military, you can be pulling like 18 hour days just working your butt off but you know in college it's just a lot more relaxed a lot more chill uh i actually plan on going to college probably university after the military so and i never really thought i would do it until i went to the military and then it's just like you know what i really want to have that experience you know kind of go to college and you know get some education i'm 19 right now so i'll be a little bit older but i think if you're going out of high school to college like you just have to try to teach yourself the lessons you know, of hard work, discipline, things like that on your own compared to where if you're in the military, it's like they teach it to you no matter what. Like you got to be disciplined. You got to work hard. Now, here's where I would actually go to the military instead of going to college. So any situation where you're going to put yourself in debt to go pay for your college and you're not sure if you're going to make that up, say like if you're putting yourself $50,000 in debt to do a art degree or a gender studies degree or something, you know, kind of menial, one of those degrees that doesn't really have a lot of, you know, application. It doesn't really help you get a lot of really good jobs. And maybe those jobs do, you know what I mean? But there are some pointless degrees that where if you go to college for them, like you're just wasting your money essentially, especially if you're paying for it. Um, that Those would be situations where I would go to the military. I'm actually interested in getting a music production degree. Um, but the military does have these programs called TA, which is like tuition assistance and music production degrees are typically two years so i could probably get that while i'm in the military and then when i get out just go for something else just to kind of transition into being a civilian and so if you are trying to go to college and save money i mean the military does pay for pretty much all of it they also pay for your housing so um you probably won't even have to stay in the university like in the dorms like you probably get an apartment and the military will still pay for it uh, you can also collect unemployment after you get out of the military and go to college so you can stack up those things plus whatever disability uh, Comes with it. There's a youtuber on Here 
His name is JT Sweets. He actually went to college after being in the military. If you are watching some videos about that, I would definitely recommend his channel because he can kind of talk about that experience firsthand. But I wouldn't go to college if it's gonna put you in debt. And if you already have something going where it's like, okay, you wanna start a business or whatever, it's a lot easier to start a business and do this kind of stuff while you're in college because worst comes to worst, if things start to get really successful and you don't wanna be in college anymore, you can always drop out. Whereas if you wanna start a business or do all this stuff in the military, if things start to you know go really well for you, it's not like you could just be like, okay, buy military, I can't, I'm not going to work anymore, I'm gonna go make a million dollars or I have to go be in this place next week and you don't have enough leave days saved up. That is kind of one of the downsides of being in the military, um, especially because you work so much and they, the military really doesn't care if you're like, um, if you have like a business or something on the side, like they, they want you to do your job first, which is fine. It's just, you gotta know what you're signing up for if you are joining the military. Um, but yeah, so if you were to ask me, if I worked harder my senior year and I actually try to take advantage of you know my grades and things like that, I probably would have gone to college. I would have applied for more scholarships and really try to do that instead of doing the military. Um, but if all else fails, like the military is a good way to kind of keep you on a good life path to, you know, get you into college eventually, uh, or, you know, just leave your hometown. Cause ultimately like when I go to college, it's going to be completely free, which is dope. Um, a lot of people, you know, struggle from student debt for like years and years and years after they get out of college and they never really do anything with your degree. At least if I don't do anything for my degree, it's just like. I just have it and you know it, it adds like a certain level of validity to you compared to everyone else so you're paying all this money to go be pretty much like a manager instead of you know like if you go work at mcdonald's right if you have a degree you're gonna get the manager position or the assistant manager position whereas if you don't have a degree you're just gonna go work as a fry cook right and so yeah i mean all in all, I probably would have gone to college instead of joining the military, but I mean, the military has been like a pretty all right experience. You know, I mean, it, I've traveled a lot and there's a lot of, you know, benefits that come into being in the military. Like you get like VA benefits and uh, you could get special like banking. Uh, they have this thing called the Navy Federal, which is only for military members and you can get like zero interest loans, things like that. There's a lot of programs, you know, that help. Plus you get military discounts. So, I mean, if all else fails and you can't pay for college, just join the military, do a couple years and then go to college and then do whatever you want with your life. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, if this video was helpful to you, go to leave a like and subscribe. Also comment anything in the comments if you disagree with what I said or you have any type of opinions or you wanna add on to what I said. You know, I read every comment. I try to respond to as much as I can. Obviously, when this video gets a little bit older, I probably won't respond as frequently, you know, I mean, I've had a couple videos where they kind of popped off and it's just hard to respond to every single comment. But, you know, I do my best to really interact with you guys. I love hearing your stories and, you know, talking with y'all, building this community up. Um, yeah, so appreciate you guys. Also check out my music link down below and yeah, peace.